gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please all rise as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. San Jose, ikaw ay tunay na huwaran ng pag-ibig, katapatan, kapapanalan. O San Jose, sa iyo nananalangin ang samo namin sa iyo naway dinggin. Ang bayan mong nangangarap Gabayan mo po ang aming pagsisikap Upang kaming lahat Maging karapat dapat Kay Jesus yung sinisintang anak In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon to all of you. Today we celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, 
Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, who beginning, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your hair after you sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. The son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, 
but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us. As it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention. When behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is to the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife in to his home. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon to all of you. And happy feast day of St. Joseph, the patron of the Universal Church. If there is a person to whom the saying silence is golden truly applies, he is the saint we honor today. Saint Joseph, but make no mistake, 
His silence is no mere silence, for it speaks volumes about the husband of Mary. And we can add another saying applicable to St. Joseph. Actions speak louder than voice. Or rather than words. But familiar sayings are brought to life in today's gospel. First, Joseph kept quiet about the condition of Mary, who was betrothed to him. Instead of noisily denouncing her, he made arrangements to separate from her quietly. This righteous man preferred to suffer in silence to spare and protect the good name of Mary, thereby saving her from a cruel and shameful fate. My dear brothers and sisters, from Joseph's example, we can see that we can also protect one another by avoiding or adding to taint the name of our brothers and sisters. Wag nating bahiran, wag tayong sumama sa paglalagay sa alanganin or pagparantangan ng hindi maganda sa pangalan ng ating kapwa. If we do that, then we take the example of St. Joseph. Second, Joseph trusted the Lord, putting everything in his hands. This earned for Joseph a blessing. For the whole case was explained to him by an angel in a dream. From St. Joseph's perspective of trust in the Lord, we can see that there is no conditions. There is no compromise. There is no bargaining, but total trust to the Lord. Sana matularan natin siya sa ating pagtitiwala sa Diyos na hindi tayo nagtatanong Hindi tayo mihingi ng kondisyon. Hindi tayo mihingi ng anumang sinyales. Kung hindi pinakikinggan natin ang salita ng Diyos at sinusunod at ginagawa natin sa ating buhay. That is why I will now go to the third point. Joseph obeyed the command of the Lord and accepted his vocation as protector of Mary, his wife, and the child, Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph, husband of Mary, we may be inspired to use our God-given power of speech for the glory of God and for the good of others. To respect the good name of others and to be obedient to the will of God at all times. May Saint Joseph continue to be our model not only in taking care of one another, but really fully trusting our Lord and to put into practice in our life 
His divine plan for all of us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He was ascended into heaven, as seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With Saint Joseph, a man of great honor and great faith, let us as a family Present to the Father of all our intentions. God, our provider, we trust in you. God, our provider, we trust in you. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by, by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, we trust in you. That like St. Joseph, government officials may not fail in their duty to ensure the welfare of their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, we trust in you. That married couples may live in harmony with each other through mutual trust and understanding, let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, we trust in you. That those who assume the care of the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, lonely, or broken-hearted, may be strengthened in their endeavors, let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, we trust in you that through the intercession of St. Joseph, those who have died may enjoy God's everlasting peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, we trust in you. Heavenly Father, in your providence and through the intercession of St. Joseph, grant what we ask you in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as Saint Joseph served with loving care, your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We we'll lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father, or to watch like a father over your only begotten son, was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the son of Joseph and Mary, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice at this solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, 
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Nakatang 